Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, camera, why are you so blurry? That's better. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been this chair is not moving in a comfortable place. Oh, crud. Did not have room for a, a good spot to, uh... <laughs> to start the timer. What route do I want to do? Um, I think I'll do the easy route. Unfortunate. Deviant! I am. I really am. Thank you for the sub. The Five month subs. This category lets you skip eight dragons, and I probably should have thought harder about which ones I'm skipping. Not that it's a huge deal, but. I don't know. I mean, a couple of them are easy choices. Nestor, obviously, but beyond that, I'm not 100% sure. I mean a million different category names, Horns. There's so many things to call this. I'm pseudo 100% sure. It has been so long since I've done 120. It has been months since I've done 120. Souped? Like... like soup? That can be a verb, right? I think 
No, I think soup like that is just S-U-P. S-U-P-E. Pseudo regalia, 120%. You know where to follow, you Pepsi. Um... What is this one? Oh, pseudo. Duh. Duh. The fact that you made it so short made me forget that context is always important in everyone you do. <laughs> I think it's sunglasses emoji. I think that's the answer. Really? Not cool. Oh, I just want to let you all know, by the way, because I feel like some of you may appreciate this. Um... Since this is a new category for me to run, I am playing on... I get those guys later in this route, I forgot. I am playing on a PS1 right now, instead of a PS2. I decided to plug in the PS1 for this. We don't need fast disk speed to get top 10. You kidding me? Do I do that for new categories? Uh, I mean, I used to do it for every run. <laughs> I that was, that was my thing, is I ran on PlayStation 1 console, even though I owned many PlayStation 2 consoles. My, my attitude was always, like, I should run on PS1 until load times would make the difference between me and whatever my goal is. Come on. Um, and at this point, I kind of need FDS to, uh, <laughs> to improve in Vortex or any percent. And my goal in 120 was just sub-130 on PS1 without credit skip, and I did that, so I switched to PS2 for that. But I like running on PS1, it's nice. I've also just found that the community does not have a lot of actual data about PlayStation lag and load times. And I thought, hey... Having a whole bunch of runs that are just, like, definitively on PS1 console might be nice for record-keeping purposes. There's a bunch of reasons. There's a whole bunch of reasons I did it. But I'm doing it again, because why not? Uh, I think this dragon is, is worth skipping. I, I don't think there's a reason to get this. Horns sleeps. Have a good night, Horns. Thank you for the pseudo anagram. Horns sheeps. Thank you for the sheeps, Horns. Much appreciated. <laughs> yes, too. This is so fake, it is. <laughs> so fake. Yo, Manly. <laughs> okay, so I think those are the only two dragons I'm gonna skip in Artisans. I have one in mind, 
Oh, I'm not supposed to get this now. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I have one in mind in Peacekeepers. Do I have two in mind in Peacekeepers? I get eight total. Hey, John, what did you do? I think Kelvin is an easy, easy choice to knock out. I don't like Kelvin. seconds of leeway off loot gold? Oh my god, John, no. John, what did you do? What happened? That's not gonna work. I, that's also not gonna work. There we go. Amazingly enough, when the only Spyro I've done in the last few weeks is cheat percent, I'm not particularly good at the rest of the game. I'm so sorry, John. You'll get it soon, I know you will. Conflict. Why? That's... Yeah, that's definitely a choice for a bullet point. Really makes you think. I was about to say, wow, this is still a mid-12. This is like really good for what has felt like an atrocious artisans, and then I just remembered I skipped Nestor. <laughs> oh, pseudo-120, you're a funny category. I think I'll get Titan at the start of Peacekeepers. I don't think cutting this line would be would be quite worth it. Well, that's right. I was thinking about getting rid of a dragon in high caves. That might be okay. No, manly. This is a get Nestor never run. This is a collect fifty dragons run. I get to skip eight dragons by the end of Beast Makers. I've done two. I'm gonna skip, I don't remember his name, in Dry Canyon. I'm gonna skip Kelvin, that's four. I think I'm gonna skip the first one in High Caves, that's five. I'm thinking about skipping Damon and doing a different route in Misty Bog, that's six. I don't think the Misty Bog route I have in mind would actually be faster, but it'd be fun. I might as well try it. So that's six. Still two more. Two more I can get rid of. I was thinking about the second dragon in peak. That's seven. And I don't know, maybe Jed? Jed in treetops as the eighth? 
So many of these feel the same. Ooh. I don't need that. We also only need five eggs. So I, I just actually don't need to worry about that. Which actually, yeah, that's worth remembering too. I don't need all of the eggs. I, I didn't need that egg back in Stone Hill. The one in uh, Town Square is right on your way, but did not need the one in Stone Hill. We <laughs> get rid of Nestor three more times? Oh, if only I could. I wish. Okay, so I don't remember this one's name, but I'm gonna skip this one. That's absolutely not worth getting. Debian, please, in the future, when you run pseudo 120, please rescue Nestor. <laughs> very good dragon. What? Oh my goodness. So out of practice. Just give him many of your any percent runs. He's a very good dragon. He's so helpful, honestly. Oh, horrible. DB and I have a question. Um, which of your emotes do you think would be Nestor's favorite emote on Twitch? Do you think Nestor would like the Nestor emote, or do you think Nestor would be all about the Ted Price emote? Do you think Nestor would really like the red spring chest type? question that came up today. Why is there a C in the word scepter? Ooh. I feel like there's someone in chat who might have a better answer than me, because I could only guess. I mean, I assume it's the same reason that there's a C in the word scenic. It came from some language where SC is, uh, it makes the S sound. Might be French. Is that common in French? Can I think of any examples of that in French? For John! No, sorry John. I tried. I'm not gonna bother trying the other jump. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe Marco would be worth skipping in this level. Maybe. Maybe.
Get around her. This isn't... This isn't right. It's going for a flame charge there, but I'll take the regular charge. like Marco might be a decent one to skip. But also if you mess up the glide to the building, then you're really screwed. Even ska music? John, congratulations on reaching level 39. Vikings did love skate parks. That does check out. Skating and ska music. Uh, what's 
the route? What's the route? This is the route. No rollerblading, though. Of course not. Just roller skating. That's not, that's not 120, that's any percent. <laughs> Oops. thinking. That makes sense. I believe it. That, that tracks with all my knowledge of Nestor. I don't want an extra life. I suspect I'm gonna need some of those. DB and I feel like a, a dummy right now. This isn't important in any way, but I'm blanking on the name of the ancient language you studied. What? What is it called? I don't know why. I don't know why my brain started thinking about it, but I just realized that I. It's just it's not in my head right now. I'm sure it would come to me eventually. Hate when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna get all the dragons in this home world, but I'm not gonna get Kelvin in Alpine. Actually, I think I'm planning to skip three dragons in, uh, in Crafters. So I'm gonna skip Kelvin. Oh wait, 120, right? We there we go. Gonna skip Kelvin. Gonna skip the one in High Caves. Gonna skip the one in Wizard Peak, and see how that is. Ancient language of Uwu. That's it. That's it. there. 
I don't remember that cycle ever being an issue like that. Did I forget to do something? I like that emote. You, where, I hit jump like three times. Well, it's a good thing I picked up that extra life. Wednesday? What is this? Welcome in, everybody. We, um, we're doing a, a silly category in Spyro the Dragon right now. You have Five Crab, you have Dustin. right, Austin does stream one Wednesday every month. I'm sure I knew that at some point. Um, this category requires a little bit of explanation that I'm running right now, because it's a weird one. So, I'm playing Spyro the Dragon, which, uh, it has three main collectibles. There's these gems that I'm picking up everywhere, there's dragons that I rescue, and there's dragon eggs that I, I get from thieves that are running around. Uh, to fully complete the game, um, it's called getting 120% because this was when platformer devs liked uh, having numbers go higher than 100%. If you want to get 120%, you need to collect everything in the game, and then a bonus level unlocks. And then you collect everything in that bonus level, and go to the end, and it triggers a second credits. However, uh, there is some weirdness with that. It turns out, if you can get, um, if you can get into that bonus level early, you only need to collect all of the gems in the game. You don't need to worry about all of the dragons or all of the dragon eggs. And a skip into that level was found earlier this year, like six, seven months ago. Um, so I'm, we call it pseudo 120%, because you finish the game and the game says, I have so many more dragon eggs that I need. The game says you have 120%, but like you don't, you didn't get everything. <laughs> also, that's the first time I've ever done this route, in a run, at least. Did I get that guy's gem? No, it didn't work. Ah. That's what I get for trying routes I never do. Anyway, so yeah, the idea is we collect all of the gems and most of the dragons and less than half of the dragon eggs in the game and then go skip into that final level and it saves a few minutes over normal 120% if you do it quickly. The skip into the bonus level is actually very hard. Yeah, that dragon, I think, is worth skipping also. Uh, the rat practice wasn't necessarily for this, but it did help with this. I actually wasn't planning to run this at all this year. Um, but when I was doing the rat practice, I, uh, I started practicing the skip into the bonus level and realized, oh wait, this isn't as unreasonable as I thought. The rat practice is more for any percent. This category, pseudo 120%, has, I think, four runs on the board. Four people have done it since the, the trick was found. I don't need the egg. What am I doing? I already have more than five eggs. <laughs> Crud. I do need all of the gems, though. I can't miss any gems. Yo, Audrey. Uh, it's fake 120% because we're not collecting everything, but at the end of the game, the game thinks we collected everything. 
Are rat strats even legit? Yes. They're so legit. Jump, Spyro. It's not a huge deal if I fall off of the cliff here, but I'm happy I didn't. It is a time loss if I do. So yeah, with this category, I'm... I made sort of joke splits here that I'm... I'm running against. Enter Nexus is gonna take me like an hour and a half. Um, oh, I didn't even mean to hit that thief. Uh, and then enter loot is gonna take me an unknown amount of time. I'm hoping that enter loot split will take less than half an hour. That's, that's the hope. And then enter loot again shouldn't take more than like 10 minutes. I already got that gem! I totally forgot. I don't need both of these guys. It's also been a really long time since I've run 120% at all, so I'm I'm pretty rusty. Oh my god, if they're first try. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I mean, only one of them is a trick. Only one of the splits has a trick. Once we... The reason we enter loot twice is we open it so that it stays open and we don't need to do the trick again later. Okay, let's see how much we learned from John. Nope. Oh, I'm not supposed to get Jarvis now. Oh well, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. This is a first run of a category that I may only run once. Ooh, that was not good. Still not good. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll just try again. There it is. I think I had pretty low speed going in there. That's why it wasn't working before. And I am going to skip a dragon in this level as well. So that'll be my... Fifth? Sixth. Sixth dragon that I've skipped. I don't need that egg! I keep forgetting that I don't need- I only need five eggs! Oh, wait. Crud. Just- just die. Just die. Just try it again. Try it again. I keep forgetting what category I'm running and what routes I need to do. Uh, that can happen when you run every category like I do. <laughs> so this dragon on the left I'm ignoring. Right, I should have gotten those in a different order.
I think 46.99 is the right gem count. So I, I think I'm good on getting everything so far, at least. Pretty sure I got Boldar there. I think I saw the flash. Considering I haven't run this in months, and considering I'm playing on a PS1, this is not a bad pace. I'm pretty happy with how this is going. It's honestly better than I thought it would be. I have had some very rusty 120 runs in the past, and this is not remotely as bad as, as it has been. I guess I'll say this, Manly, if I get significantly better at the new rat strat, then I might go back to running this. Because early loot, I think, could pretty easily be made consistent. I think that's just a matter of me doing it more and practicing. But, uh, how long it takes me to even attempt early loot is, is a problem for this category. It doesn't matter if I only do it once. Because if the uh, if the trick takes me half an hour to get, whatever, it's my only attempt. I won. <laughs> yeah, forty three run on a PS one. This is this is perfectly fine. isn't the route I normally do. Oh well. I guess I'll just, uh... I'll just try not to get hurt in Terrace Village. And it's fine. Terrace is an easy level to get through damageless. I don't think anybody has ever made any mistakes in Terrace Village. It's never happened.
no. I probably could have made that, but really no reason to, uh, to rush it. Rush it like I'd rush that. Well done, brain. So close to actually getting a damageless terrace. <laughs> Shempem bog. How are you doing, Wolf? Some big tables at work today. Ah. Well, I hope the soothing sounds of Spyro can help you feel rested. Okay, 44. And I get three of the four here. That's 47. Yeah, okay. I'm on, uh, I'm on a good dragon pace. That feels so weird to say. <laughs> that's that's not anything people should be saying while playing this game. I'm on a good dragon pace? No. Oh god. Oh god. I... Damn it. You... Well, it's a good thing I got that extra life. Oh, get it. There you go. I was turning towards the plant, and Spyro instead decided to pivot in a complete circle in the wrong direction. That's fine. Speedrunners complain about it often. There's no gems there yet. No, there's not.
Okay, there's one more dragon that I will be skipping before the end of Beast Makers. Which, again, I really have no idea if I picked optimal dragons. But, doesn't matter, this is the only run. just hope to survive. I mean, it's funny because, like, I'd like to say, you know, oh, once you do it enough times, it gets pretty easy. I still mess it up all the time. If I take it pretty slow, I'll probably get through without taking damage, but there's really no guarantee. <laughs> That was a terrible bog, but it's good enough for me. It's a good bog in that we are out of bog. Okay, and then I'm thinking about skipping the second dragon here, which I believe is Jed. This guy getting fake 120%? I know, I know. What a fraud. Spire, please. Lucas. Dr. Feelgood is a really good album. I liked that one so much. I also found, uh, with Ace of Spades, I really like the the singer's voice um, uh, of Motorhead, um, but all of the songs on that album just kind of blended together to me, but that's fine because it makes it like a perfect album for putting on in the background while I'm doing other things. Just like a, a really great, consistent sound the whole way through. Uh, I did not. I did not look that up. I should. I, I noticed the, um... The, I think it was the second song on Dr. Feel Good had the She's So Heavy outro. So I'm, I'm curious about, about that. <laughs> How many? Okay. Again, I, I'm any percent brained. I just, I completely forgot. Completely forgot there's a whole other part of this level that I just didn't go to. I've been having a little bit of wrong category-itis this run, but this is, this is the worst example of it. Completely forgot. There we go. Okay. It is a complicated one. There's a lot of bits to it.
I didn't realize that you could just follow the thieves in that level to figure out where to go uh, until, like, multiple years after I started speedrunning the game. How much am I not collecting? Uh, 29 dragons, and in theory 7 eggs, but I accidentally got a bunch of extra eggs because I kept forgetting I didn't need them. Basically, we only need the... Oh, I forgot to go over there, right? Again, just any percent brand. Um, we only need the, the requirements to get past um, Beastmakers. And then... Uh... So did I get the stuff? I did get the stuff down there. The requirements to get past Beast Makers, and then beyond that, we do need all of the gems. This is many percent. This is all the percents. At the end of the game, I'm gonna look at the inventory and it's gonna say, Yeah, you got everything. Because the game is dumb. The game doesn't know any better. I didn't get both of those gems. I'm also shocked that I broke that pole and didn't just take damage on it. Good. Got everything there. So, we almost no longer need any dragons. There's one other dragon we're going to collect. What? Wait, what's the route here? No, that's not right. I go this way. There's one... I didn't want to fall there. There's one more dragon that we need to collect uh, in the final home world, but that's it. We're ignoring every other dragon in the game now. I got that gem. I did get that gem. Yes. And that is all of the gems here. Yeah, that's all the gems here. <laughs> I, I had to think about that for a second, but yes, we're good. We're good. Would have been faster if I flame charged that fan chest. You're right. Should reset over that. I know I have a trick coming up that might take me like an hour, but I should really reset over that flame charge. I don't trust this jump. I never trust this jump. I've never felt good at this. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand how to do that. I get it sometimes. Sometimes it works, but... I don't know. The timing just seems really tight on it.
Great. We did it. The haters said it couldn't be done. I need to remind myself not to get any dragons. I... I will run towards dragons and I need to not collect them. <laughs> Most of the time save for this category, compared to regular 120%, happens in this home world. And I need to remember that. Like, I don't need to go into that room. Horrendous. I did get the gem from the wizard up there, I know that. Uh, and I did get all of these gems because I'm a sparksless pro. That movement was really awkward though. And now I need to hope this guy didn't fall through the floor, and he didn't. Let's go. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm good. That's all of them. Oh my god, I missed a green. Where is it? Oh, it's just right out here. Good, good, good. Remember when I said, yep, that's all of them? That was a lie. That was a fake out because this is fake 120%. You can't trust anything I say. Bye. <laughs> Wolf, you didn't see me running any of Sparksless 120% back when I was doing that, did you? There's a category extension for this game um, where you use not just a cheat code, but like an actual Game Shark memory hacking device to remove sparks from the game, and then you do 120%. It is genuinely a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed my time with Sparksless. I'd like to go back and get the record back sometime. Because I was beaten by someone who uh, only beat me because they had better load times and did a trick that uh, that I, I didn't want to do. I don't need any dragons! I caught that first dragon, didn't I? I got the first dragon in this level, and nobody stopped me. Gosh darn it. Christmas, oh my god. We should. We should. Should we watch A Lion in Winter, or should we watch an actual Christmas movie?
Don't need the dragon. Stop getting the dragons. Dragons can deal with their own problems. If the dragons didn't want to be frozen, maybe they shouldn't have called Nasty Norga ugly. Did they ever think of that? No. Nasty's actions were justified. Uh, what's the route? What's the route? It's this way. God, it has been a while since I've done 120. Oh, and this is interesting. I don't get this dragon, so I don't need... I don't know what the fastest way to do this is. Do I go over to that platform anyway? I, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. <gasps> Just go back. Just go back. It's fine. That is a small time loss in the grand scheme of things. That is a small time loss in comparison to what's going to happen when I get to Nork Nexus. Was not the right right buttons to hold coming out of that portal. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I guess this level should be fine. I don't do any death abuses here. Ideally. Oh, this isn't right. Eh, whatever. I have heard that my super- I don't need the dragons! Damn it! I have heard that my superchargeless route for this level is, a. Uh... Um... A little slow. Clearing the start of the level is actually faster, even on this route. Uh, also, I only just realized that I got the dragon at the start of this homeworld, too. Horrible. It's so hard to fight that muscle memory.
need the dragons! Oh my god! <laughs> I knew I would get some extras, but this is worse than I expected. Hey, there you go. Um, there is no good time to get this. I'm gonna go back for it now. Oh, sure thing. Have a good night, Lucas. Have a good drive. I waited so long, I, I felt so sure that that would, that would have been a good time. I don't need the dragon. <laughs> Spring chest hype. There we go. Okay, okay. We only got two extra dragons in that level. That's fine. That's just like 13, 14 seconds of time loss. It's fine. Oh yeah, no chance of Latif crash. Coming up, we're almost going to enter Nexus. We're very close. We're very, very close. platform. Land on the platform. <laughs> there you go. I think I'm supposed to get those on the way out, actually. Oh, that doesn't matter. Forgot the dragon. No. No more dragons. Literally only one more dragon, but not this one. Specifically not this one. Ooh. Okay. Supposed to have gotten this fool already. Yo, Spyroner. I am, I am. I was playing around with the new rat last night. And thought, like, you know, since I'm getting into Nasty's head early, I might as well try out early loot and see if that's something I could remotely learn. And I got it pretty quickly. 
without even looking up a tutorial or anything. I just remembered what clips of early loot looked like and figured it out. So I figured I might as well do a pseudo run, since I, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm also doing it on a PS1. Yeah, and I'm definitely not consistent with it. First split down. <laughs> Okay, and now we do rat until we get coveless. Nope. Might as well clean up the homeworld while I'm here. No, no particular reason not to. I mean, the first one in a run, it's how I did it last night. <laughs> I also spent some time going for early Twilight Harbor, but it was getting it was getting late. And I had to stop streaming. Okay, good. Step one down. <laughs> early gems. And I just realized, if I accidentally enter the nasty portal, I am so screwed. It only just occurred to me that that's a run killer. So I need to actually be really careful about that. Uh, yeah, something like this seems right. Uh, angle maybe that way? Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm going down. I can see it. Well, that, uh, that was faster than I expected it to be. <laughs> Not first try rat, first try early loot, though. Ooh. Is there more of a setup than that? That's... That's all I remembered seeing from clips, and so I did it that way. It seems really lenient. Oh, not, not like, extremely lenient. The angle seems pretty precise, but, like... Spyro only has so many angles he can face. It seems really lenient compared to Kovlas, for example. Don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not gonna pretend that like I could get it first try every time. I'm sure if I tried again it would take me a few tries, but like I I didn't feel the need to get a super precise setup. No, get away from that! Oh. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine, that's fine. Because there's going to be some rats we pick up in just a minute here. There's going to be a bonk we do right there, and that's fine. Because I forgot there's some chests we need to get here anyway. Some chests and some gems. This is a sparksless run now. We're okay with sparkslessness. I'm a sparksless champ! And now we don't even need to be sparksless anymore. I don't need lives anymore, also. That was... I was only collecting those for early rat. Early rat. For... Rat attempts. Beautiful. Uh, I do get ejected out. Uh, not... Not every time, but, like, it happens. I was honestly having a bigger problem with that when trying early Twilight Harbor. 
than I was with early loot. I was thinking this weekend, when I have more time to dedicate to it, I'd like to try a max percent, low percent run, where it's pseudo 120, but I don't get dealt in in Nexus. Although, given how many extra dragons I picked up in this run, I might have other issues with max percent, low percent. I missed one of those. I mean, the other thing with the way I do it also is just that I have done so few attempts at it that it's hard to say what kind of consistency I have. Like, I was trying this approach for the first time last night. Back when early loot was found, I never actually did it this way. Last night was the first time I tried. Um, I'm missing a five. Was it in here? It wasn't here. Oh, and I also get to do a, a really silly Twilight route, just for the fun of it. It's not gonna be fast, but a lot of things I've done in this run haven't been fast. Who needs fast? Oh, wait. No, I do, if I want. <laughs> I guess I could just do Tooth Roll after. It doesn't matter. I don't remember what the times on the board are. Um, what What is... Is it just three runs on the board? I thought there were four. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Also, I'm probably not going to bother trying to do Credit Skip. We'll, we'll see how I feel when I get there. Second with 125, and then third is a 148. Gotcha. Cool. That is nice that I'm not going to be last. For some reason, I was under the impression that there were four runs, and everyone who tried was really, really good at this game and put some effort into this category, so... I mean, I think everyone on this board is really, really good at this game. I don't think you can do early loot without being really, really good at this game. I, I don't want to undersell that. But you know what I mean. I, I assumed everyone was, like, 135 and below. Uh, yeah, actually, hold on, wait. I can't get... gonna say I can't get to uh, lead us. Oops. I got this one anyway! I forgot again! <laughs> Why isn't chat saying anything when I'm freeing dragons? I don't even notice that I'm doing it. Whatever, I'm just gonna get Cletus. Genuinely, that's going to be the hardest part of max percent, low percent, is just remembering to not get dragons. I need to be so focused on the run for that. How many lives do I have left? Like, two? Yeah, two. jump so early.
That's not how you get those chests. That's not how I've ever gotten those chests. Um, honestly, I think a big thing that helped this time is just uh, rat surfing. This, this new rat technique. I think I would have spent longer on this if I tried doing tooth roll instead of rat. This new rat technique is so good. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. I am H-O. We're fine, we're fine. That was a comical bonk, but we're fine. And like, one thing about it, like, it doesn't surprise me much that someone like Laura or Ash can do it really quickly, because they've spent a million hours playing with the rats in general. I haven't! I did not give Rat Proxy that much time. I've only done Rat Proxy, the old version of Rat Proxy, I think twice. I, I thought it was a gross trick that I never wanted to learn. But even someone like me can pretty quickly pick up this new rat and start getting it relatively quickly. So here's the reason this category exists the way it does. The second credits that play at the end of loot only play if you have 14,000 gems. It doesn't check that you have everything in the game, it only checks your gem count. So you do still have to get all of the gems. You just don't need anything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm i not in the mood to try credit skip. <laughs> we get to watch the credits. Credits are fun, love the credits. What about the nasty Gnork? Nasty Gnork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Um, if early loot is this relatively easy for me, I'm tempted to try to improve this. I, I thought I was just gonna do the one run, but uh. I mean, I'm, I'm only doing one run right now, but just, like, in general, I might, um... I might try other things. That proxy. Which proxy? The rat proxy, or the... Rat proxy is useful in a lot of categories. Rat proxy, I think, is also useful in 80 dragons, honestly. easier than tooth roll, that's why. Dylan! Dylan, we did first try early loot. Yeah, rat. That rat proxy is useful in a bunch of categories. Um, getting into loot early is only useful for this and uh, categories that basically nobody runs. But Rat Proxy, that's extremely useful. It was the only real category, ironically. Yo, Arugla. Celador, Nuke. Thank you, everybody. I, I really mean it. I was honestly expecting to spend like half an hour on that early loot split. I can't believe I got it that fast. It was like... What, fourth try? Fourth try rat, and then first try early loot off of the rat? Yeah, I guess next time I'm, like, actually warmed up in 120. <laughs> Maybe when I'm, uh, once I've done my sparksless grind, 
I'll uh, I'll come back to this and get a good time. That's just 46 seconds. Oh my god. Beautiful. Enter loot again. Let's go. And yeah, you can see from my 58 dragons and, uh, and what, like nine dragon eggs? There's a lot of time to save on this run. <laughs> Rocket just for John. Nope, land. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done 120. Uh, yeah, this way. This also honestly makes me, uh, makes me think I, I should really do another, um, true vortex run. I almost said 120 Vortex run. <laughs> yeah, I love getting 120 Vortexes. Town Square Vortex 120 times, let's go. What happens if you kill Nasty with all the gems? It's just the normal, the normal first ending. Uh, I, yeah, whatever. Never played this game in my life. it for three months. Oops. Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're still on pace for an easy 137. Again, I've run this Sparksless enough times. <laughs> I'm fine. everything and you see it says 120% up there? You see that? You see how it says 120% with 58 dragons? Look at all these dragons I didn't get. Look at all these eggs I didn't get. 120%. Let's go. The 120% the devs intended. Pyro the dragon. You've Third place! Incredible. That was fun. That was, that was a lot of fun. I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with nasty Nork and his Thank you for the GG's. Spyroner, Arugla, Neon, Wolf, Five Crab, Idri, everyone. Thank you for the raid again, Dylan. Appreciate it. I hope your stream went well. Whatever you were up to today. We go again. I uh, I would love to hang out for a while and do like more early loot practice or something. But uh, I forgot I actually need to go to the grocery store before 
it gets too late. So I'm gonna, I think, let the credits play out and then raid, let's say Super Dave. Super Dave who is doing, who just finished S2 Hundo, never mind, crud. Um, let's hope that Super Dave is about to do another S2 Hundo run. <laughs> Did I get world record on cheek percent? No. Um, I... no, sadly. I was close, but not quite. I'm currently... I have an unsubmitted run that I, I keep forgetting to clip and submit to the leaderboard that would be third with a... like a, a low 145, but world record now is a 142. Great old timey computer show. So it's a good channel. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah, it looks like Super Dave is wrapping up, so... Uh, actually, let's see what Critter Vision's up to. Oh, Critter Vision is hopping right now. Never mind, we're gonna raid Critter Vision. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for, for joining me for this.